Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Arrowfest, and in this, we have to guide an arrow through a number of gates that allow us to either increase or decrease sometimes, if you hit a bad one, the number of arrows that we're controlling. And then we reach targets at the end of the level, and hopefully we have enough arrows to destroy them. So it looks like a really cool, fun, arcade style game. I'm very excited for this one because... I play a lot of these types of games on my phone, so let's go ahead and see how this one does. So, Arrow Fest. All right, so we are the arrow. Oh, oh, there's music. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh my God, it's it's kind of fast. All right. Uh, we're, okay. So, <laughs> holy cow. Oh, we we really knocked that guy off. Oh, did we not? We didn't have enough arrows to kill this next guy. All right. So that was really fast. So you guys saw there how fast that was. We got up to 17 arrows apparently, and also. There were some gates that were like plus, you'll see there in the distance, it's like plus seven, but then there's like times two. Now I'm feeling like, obviously we don't want to hit the like divided by two or the half the number of arrows ones or the minus ones that we see, but the gates that are like times two multiply the number of arrows that you have. That's kind of cool. And I like this music. Oh man, this is nice. Okay, anyway, let's jump in for another run. We only killed the one target, so we must meet, like it means that we probably need a lot more arrows and it looks like, Oh, there's, yeah, negative four or plus eight. Give me that plus eight. All right. So it must mean we needed way more arrows to kill the next guy. Okay, we got two dudes now. And we earned a bunch of money. So every time you kill a dude at the end here, uh, I guess you earn more gold that you can use to, like, level up stuff. So, ah, okay. So every time you level up your arrow, it adds another arrow you start with. Now, are those permanent or is it just for this run? Um, coins, I don't know what that does, but we'll figure it out. All right, so plus five, yes, plus four, all right, plus one, times two, definitely get the times two always, because you can multiply the number of errors you have. That's way more than the, like, plus four or whatever it was. Oh, I also just noticed, so we killed two guys again. There's a little flag on the second guy. I'm assuming that shows how far we made it, and look at this long line of knights that we have to shoot with arrows. Oh, man, I'm liking that. Okay, and awesome, we do start with the same uh, leveled up arrows that we have at the beginning of every run. So we like exponentially become stronger with like permanent upgrades. That's cool. I, I wanna see what coins does. What does coins do? All right, it just took a hundred coins from me. Oh, do you know what it is? I bet that it's uh, at the end of the level when we kill the knights, we get an increased number of coins for killing knights. That's cool. All right, so this is a game that takes a lot of like quick decision making, which I like a lot about it. I love these types of games where like you have to think on your feet. But it's still very casual. Look at this wall of arrows. Oh my gosh. We got all the way to the fourth guy, but we only killed the first couple guys. All right. So let's level these up. We have level seven arrows now. Oh my gosh. Very, very strong. We got way more gold from that for leveling up our money. So that was good. Let's get plus eight plus. Okay. Times two. Let's get that. Thinking on our feet quick. Now the amounts of arrows we're getting are so much larger, by the way. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, getting all the way to the fifth guy. Nice, awesome, awesome, awesome. We are doing great here. Okay, keep leveling up our, our base arrows. Level up our gold twice. I'm happy with that, okay. And jump back in for another launch. Okay, avoid the bad gates, get the times two for sure. Oh my God, that's immediately a giant stack of arrows. Plus 28 at the end here. Whoa, we really sped up there. Boom, boom. Okay, got another knight. So we're making like exponential progress. We are figuring it out. We are getting stronger and better as the game goes on. I wonder how much we can start off with, if it's gonna just be like a brick of arrows at some point with all of our level ups. I'm liking this game. It's really uh, chill. It's it's honestly like, even though it's like, sort of like on your toes, uh, quick arcadey fun stuff, you still are able to like, oh my gosh, uh, just relax and enjoy, like the music is nice, the gameplay is simple. I like this, this is so good. Okay, oh my gosh, we were able to add so many more arrows here. Add a little bit of gold as well, plus 11. Okay, get that. Now, I, I don't feel like the divided by one is much of a threat. I mean, it's the same level of threat as a times one where we're not gonna like, you know, you divide anything by one, it's still the same number. Or if you uh, multiply anything by one, it's the same number. So it's like just like a null and void type of thing. 
So it's not like a huge threat, but it's obviously not gonna be anything that adds any progress for us either. All right, grabbing this stuff, let's go. Times two, oh my God, the stacks on stacks on stacks of arrows. Okay, plus six, okay. And it says we're on level nine. I don't know if the level that we're on makes any sort of difference, because now we're on like level 10, even though we didn't kill any extra knights, we just killed the same number. Maybe just a way to uh, keep track of how many attempts you've had, but still, fun, fun, fun. I'm loving this. this is, it's so easy to get sucked into this type of game because it is, again, it's so chill. It's so like, just like arcadey and stupid, and I love that. <laughs> you don't have to think very much with these games. You just have a blast. Man, this guy's tough. We have not been able to take him out at all. He's really hard. All right, so. Let's add another arrow. Let's add a little bit more gold. I guess we got to just like keep trying. Keep trying over and over again and keep increasing our strength as it goes on. Another times two. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I think I got the right one there at the end. We'll find out in a second. 292 arrows. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's that? This guy's like guarding a treasure chest, it looks like. Wait, so can we? All right. Is there going to be more stuff to unlock in this game? This is so cool. I like that we got two times twos in that one. That's what helped us get to the huge number. Oh, we got another one. We have over 300 arrows right now. This is nuts. Okay, let's go. Awesome, giant block of arrows. Oh, this last guy's gonna be so tough, isn't he? He's gonna be a thorn in my side. That's all right, we're still upgrading stuff. We're still getting stronger. We're still doing as best as we can. Another times two here, giving us over 400 arrows, over 500 arrows. Holy cow. All right, and you see the, the number of arrows going down as we hit each night. Whoa, okay, so it shows the number of wins we get. All right, so it took me until level 13, the 13th attempt to get this chest full of tons of coins from the looks of it. And a little, like, birthday emoji. Thank you. Birthday emoji. It's not my birthday, but I'll take it. It's a little celebration of me. And then we can try again. All right, let's try again. Let's get more and more and more arrows. Oh, I love this. That you're just, like, stockpiling strength as the game goes on. All right. Get that one. That one. Only 399 for the number of arrows we have this time. Okay, so we didn't win that round. But we are still getting stronger, and that's what matters the most. Okay, so once you hit the chest, it's just basically you're trying to hit the chest as many times as you can. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like this game a lot. It's very fun. 555 arrows? Come on. Let's see. Is that enough to get us all the way to the chest? Yes, it is. Wins two. Okay, there we go. So it gets easier as the game goes on. And it's sort of, it looks like it's randomly generated as far as, like, what gates you're going to get. So, like, you're not always guaranteed, like, multiple times two gates, which obviously helps out a ton. Like, this run, we only got 355. We're probably not going to make it to the end here. But still got a significant amount of uh, knights taken down. So enough to give me another starting arrow. So at some point, I'm going to have so many arrows that it's just going to be that giant block of arrows. We're starting with... 24 or 25 arrows or whatever here, which is really great. And then, like, obviously, the more you put into coins, the faster you can level that aspect up as well. This is a really fun game. It's very simplistic. It's very straightforward. But again, there's something, like, calming and soothing about, like, doing this type of game. Even though it is arcadey sort of chaos, it is something that is just, I don't know, there's a chill aspect to it. Because it doesn't matter how many times you fail, you get to jump in and try again, being a little bit stronger each time. I like that about this game. But anyway, guys, I think this is where I'm going to end this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me knock over a whole bunch of knights and get to the treasure. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.